happy Indian's day i'm very happy to be here with the great uh, guest uh, today our guest uh, mr metha he is from yemen nit mutra nagar national sort of jalalabad if i want to introduce about till him i need a lot of hours but still to want to make it short i want to just introduce about him our today's guest mr metha is the founder and director of entrepreneur technologies which has its headquarters in bangalore and offices over 14 locations across india he is passionate about serving the academic community and has invested more than 25 years of his 29 years career till now in the education sector bridging the gap between industry and academy hello sir thank you i'm very very happy to be with you thank and, you thank uh, you very much professor um, so really your uh, profile was very interesting actually you know so you were you served a lot to the education community academy community for the past 25 years approximately i hope today i'm a better right person on the engineers day so i have a few questions with you to discuss so sure. that our students community may know what the realistic world is looking for in that way my first question to you is like sir um we were discussing your journey into the world of uh, simulation actually while uh, 15 years ago can you share a little bit of that well actually i mean the i this journey actually uh, into simulation the uh, probably goes more than 30 plus years ago or 35 years ago when when i was studying uh, you know the fleming's left hand rule and fleming's right hand rule when we were studying about magnetism and electromagnetism uh, you know i i still remember uh, you know uh, we would we would struggle when we get a question we would really struggle okay which is the direction of current which is the direction of the motion and what is the direction of the field whether it is into the paper whether it is out of the paper you know it's it used to be really challenging the abstractness of the problem itself was uh, uh, i would say it, it, it's mind racking i would say the solving of the equations would uh, would take would be very difficult because we were unable to visualize it yeah. uh, but when we got an opportunity to uh, enter into the world of simulation about 15 years ago uh, when we uh, started working with ansys it was a it was a mind opener for me uh, all the abstractness disappeared and we could actually visualize the magnetic fields and that was the beginning of my journey into simulation and uh, i mean it, it, it was fascinating then it continues to fascinate me even after 15 years that was that was really you know a fantastic narration about the simulation really you know i too got those bumps <laughs> while you were answering for my question like good sir good one and the, my second question to him was like how relevant in simulation to the indian market uh, in particular to the indian engineering community you know when we look at the world of engineering the world of engineering is all about you know product development developing something which is going to be useful for the world useful for the community community, community at large you know even when we when we study the engineer creed uh, which was written by dr uh, uh, sir uh, sir m vishwesharaya you can clearly make out engineering is not a solo game it is actually you know a, a big amount of teamwork is also built, built into it and simulation engineers play a very major role you know uh, maybe about maybe around 30 40 years ago when we talk about engineering i mean in the world of simulation probably there was just uh, one engineer for one simulation engineer for every 100 engineers and over a period of a time uh, when people started realizing that simulation can actually shorten the time to market you know there is there is a design uh, so uh, there is a concept which gets translated into a design entry and the design entry would get transferred into a prototype right and then they would do testing functional testing would happen and then where, when that doesn't work you go back to the drawing bench yes. and you need to come back all over again yes. so that took many cycles took a lot of time simulation short circuited this a lot and the simulation driven product development came into existence and when that happened uh, what would take one year uh, people were able to make it in 9 months then 6 months and now if you see the kind of uh, the rapid pace at which products are coming out simulation is key so one simulation engineer for every 100 engineers got reduced to 5 10 and today it is over 50 simulation engineers are actually required so the the path of simulation has been fascinating it is going to become indispensable moving forward if at all somebody has to be relevant in the market because ideation to product realization simulation plays a very 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 important role yeah. 
right? You, know, you start off with design and then you move over to design entry, simulation, and then you do a prototyping, functional testing, and then you move to manufacturing. Manufacturing is also very, very important. You know, uh, what is the use of developing a product if you're not able to manufacture? But the first steps which we, we need to go through is simulation. After design, the simulation very, very important. So I understand from your uh, way that you expressed, you know, it is the need of the art to every engineer has to understand the simulation is one of the fundamental requirement for each and every engineer uh, because they, it is having a lot of thrust uh, in the really future, right? I think so, am I right? Yes, it is already relevant. Uh, in fact, if you see, they are, even though I am talking about more than 50% of the engineering community, the core engineering community, there is a need, but uh, the current you know, crop of engineers are unable to fill the requirements. So it is becoming a challenging for uh, challenging for the in, for the community to actually to uh, hire people. So it, I mean, we, we need this knowledgeable, skilled manpower to be relevant to the Indian market today. Good sir. And the third question on behalf of uh, you viewers, like, what according to you in the role of engineering colleges, universities, and professors? You know. Uh, Engineering colleges, universities, and most importantly, professors play a very, very important role. You know, uh, I, mean, uh, I, I still remember my father was fantastic in mathematics, but when he would when he would teach me mathematics, I would never accept it. I said, no, my teacher didn't say so. Whatever my teacher said was most important, most, I mean, most acceptable one for me. And I'm sure that's with every student. Every student would identify, identify with this answer of mine. Professors play a life-changing roles. And the engineering colleges and the universities, which gives us this platform, you know, especially uh, when it comes to teaching the first principles, the fundamentals, there is nobody better than a professor. Yeah. So they, they, they play a foundational role in building any engineer. And I, I strongly believe that uh, it is in the hands of professors to change the nation. If they say the generation of today is going to be the leaders of tomorrow, and I think the makers are the professors. So rightly said, I am very feel proud that I am also a professor earlier. It's a privilege. <laughs> it's a privilege talking to a professor. Thank you. Thank you. My next question is: How can a simulation play a role in the lives of professors and students at the college level? Well. Uh, not relegating simulation just to product development. My strong recommendation would be to in to uh, you know um, integrate the uh, complete simulation at a teaching level itself, enhancing the teaching learning experience. I shared about my challenges when studying electromagnetics and how this could have opened my mind. And uh, let's say every electrical electronics engineers are LCBI are. Uh, you know, are uh, without it, there is no electrical electronics engineering. And simulation, even even uh, even when we play at a circuit level, we have labs called circuit simulation labs. But the thirty years, what we thirty hours, what we spend doing these labs, is it really enough for uh, for an engineer to become good in, let us say, in PCB designing, or whether it is you know IC designing, or even when you move ahead, uh, signal integrity, power integrity, EMI, EMC, uh -huh. all these things. Simulation plays a very, very vital role. You know, uh, you know, I have seen colleges which have embraced simulation. I have seen the rate, uh, rate of increase of students moving into the core engineering, core engineering domains, jobs. I remember I was, uh, uh, I was uh, talking to a college in Orissa, and uh, there were about four hundred students. And uh, uh, I asked this question: How many of you, electrical and electronics engineers seated here, would like to? Uh, go into the core engineering domain. The same question I want to put to the viewers also. Please, uh, viewers, you can make a note on this uh, particular uh, uh, process of what the star is actually talking about. I do um, thinking in the same mind that that's what's uh, ringing in my mind actually. How many of them are very much good enough in simulation or what? Not? I mean, you want to add something more about the simulations and the importance of simulations that every student has to understand this thing. Sure. Please throw some insight on this in deep, sure. so that our uh, men, not only Odisha student, or not only in Tamil Nadu or anything, on the whole, engineer is going to work for the worldwide or the worldwide thought process. You can throw a little bit of insight about the simulations and how 
uh, as a CEO of a company, you are going to help uh, to the students community too. Certainly, certainly, it will be my pleasure. You know, I, I was just uh, talking about how I address these 400 students, and probably about 100 to 150 of them raised their hands. And I asked, okay, fine, 150. How many of you believe would actually land a job? Right? <laughs> 13 hands raised. Oh, so I mean, I was so, like shocked that less than five percentage of the students believe they would get a job. And I said, okay, fine. Let me ask this question to you again. Why do you say, I mean, why do others, more than 100 of you lifted your hands and why are you telling that you might not land a job? The answer that came was, sir, I might even get good marks. I might even land a job, but my fundamentals are so weak. I do not know whether I will be able to continue in the job for six months. Then I, I showed them, okay. Then I asked them this question, how many, okay, electronic, I was addressing the electronics community. And I asked them very specifically, how many hours do you spend on, let us say, uh, simulation, right? Let us, let us, I mean, I took an example of, let us say, an electrical circuit. Okay. Now, how many such experiments do you perform? I said, we perform over 10 experiments. Some people said, uh, 8 is enough. Some people said, I have done 12, sir. Uh, so they said, okay, fine. Now, if you could have done simulation, how many could you have done? They said, yeah, we've done already. We've done 12 experiments in simulation also. In third semester, we have done. So I have done this. So I said, if you had invested instead of 12 experiments, if you have done 120 experiments, is it possible for you? I said, very difficult because even to get the components, I have to get the components. If I don't give it back, I have to pay demerages. <laughs> right? Okay. So then I said, then wouldn't you, if you had done it in simulation, wouldn't you be more confident? Yes. Then why don't you do it? No, we are just, we have only 30 hours of simulation. I asked the professor, so would you be willing to open up the lab for people if they are willing to spend more time? The professor said yes. He was a fantastic professor, still a very good friend of mine. He said yes. And, the, and I tell you, when I visited the college just two years later, the number of people from that particular batch was more than 25 people had gone into Korean Zarek abilities. Very fantastic, sir. What an good job. In, in, in fact, I myself hired three people from there. Ah. <laughs> so, you have again, you have a good uh, job opportunities also. You can also catch the sir later. Uh, hi, viewers. I think so. No, he um, try to understand he is passionate about doing uh, simulation and, and uh, what is really lagging in yourself to try to have a self study in yourself, please. That's what a kind note I want to put to you also to think about, please. Next, I would like to ask one more question, sir. Sure. What are the kind of job opportunities uh, we are talking at global level or in the next five years down the line? See, number one, uh, even before we go to the global level, I would say the Indian government is laying a lot of emphasis on Atma Nirbhar Bharat and how the Make It India, Make It India program is very, very important. Which means starting from, let us say, the concept, you have an idea and then you put it down on paper first. You write down all the specifications first. You, you key it in a, I mean, probably in a word format or probably you write it down, whatever you want to. And then you go and do a design entry. After you do a design entry, then probably, you know, uh, that's a different thing altogether. But you start, now you start collaborating because not everybody who does design entry is going to do simulation. So now your idea was design entered by somebody else. And then now probably you are doing simulation. And then you have another set of engineers who are actually probably doing a rapid prototyping. Like for example, the best rapid prototyping available today is uh, additive manufacturing solutions, 3D printing. And you're able to get, you're able to get the look and feel and probably you want to check for its functionality also at that stage. And once you do that, then again, you come back, you come back, probably you may have to come back to the drawing board a couple of times, but then quickly you are moving into manufacturability, manufacturability. Once you do that, you do a quality, quality assurance, quality control, everything is taken care and your product is out into the market. It is, it is that relevant. It is that relevant, I would say. And with the focus, India's focus. Uh, on Atmanirbhar Bharat, I am telling you, there are so many jobs. Even today, there are so many jobs. Even before the emphasis, there were so many jobs. With the emphasis, the number of jobs are increasing. If I have to give you at a global level, sir, I can tell you within the next five years, at least one million, one million wow. engineers will be required just in the ANSYS simulation domain. ANSYS engineers 
more than 1 million in the next 5 years again we must please make a note on this no but sir was telling and it was very impressive that at least no at least not at least you have almost 1 million jobs particularly in the in the field of this particular uh, simulation so we try to understand that you know he is uh, he is a person that he is having a very visionary he is, he is you know, roaming around the, across the globe across india and i hope definitely uh, this input may make you to think and uh, i hope you can remodify yourself your thought process or what not and try to be a real engineer i have one more question on behalf of you um, what is the contribution of antapun it means evolvement company uh, to the engineering community or engineering colleges well uh, when we began this journey on 010110 officially incorporated on that particular day antapun you know had a mandate of number 1 enabling engineering excellence so with that with a passion of serving the country our major customers are there in the aerospace and defense domains so we are we are involved in a lot of projects probably i mean like they would be classified they would not be able to tell a lot more but we are working very closely with the aerospace and defense sectors and in some way or the other involved in major pro- projects Uh, including, you know, the marquee projects like whatever Chandrayaan, Mangalyaan, whatever we are talking about. Even every, we are involved in a lot of things. We do a lot of design services activities also. And uh, in addition to that, uh, one of the key areas uh, that these kind of high specialized uh, areas require quality manpower. So we have taken up ourselves on ourselves the mandate of equipping the Indian academic community, the engineering community. with the relevant things and that's how we've been spending the last 14 to 15 years uh, enabling that and in fact we have our own training arm which is called as abhyanta abhyanta on engineers day engineers day i would like to tell you abhyanta in sanskrit means the engineer and we would like to make the correct complete engineer fit for the market it is from entupul to india to the world that's how we are looking at it right we are talking about a global family and we want to big you know make a small difference at our at our steps you know uh, that's how uh, that's how we we began our journey and we are continuing our journey in fact we have moved we have also we have developed our own products in the engineering community which are catering the engineering colleges even today in in areas like power electronics renewable energy systems e e mobility and all these kind of different domains we are we are we are doing uh, exactly you no know, i have witnessed a lot of products i have a chance to move to odisha and two weeks back you know i i got a chance to witness your product in the odisha hall no can i i was really you know stunning about it you know i was able to able to see that the pcb manufacturing products yes. which was it was displayed on that day so it was really interesting to know about that um, as you said no you are going to support a lot to the real engineers absolutely of course no i hope uh, this is the right uh, thought process and every engineer has to think about here our ceo is there to help you out to they are giving a lot of uh, i mean insights they are giving a lot of uh, training process and their his vision is that he want to make a real engineer not only for india across the globe so now choice is ceos uh, think twice or twice on this particular engineer day take a vote that i want to be a real engineer definitely here the people are there like mr meta he is going to help you out according uh, according to his philosophy according to his process uh, according to our discussion really you know you will get a good chance when you have a very good contact with his team definitely will be a real engineer in the near future i hope thank you for your time thank sir you. thank you thanks a lot thank you